If you're learning a ballroom dance, you're going to need to know the tango. And in this video, Megan and I are going to share our five favorite beginner tango steps so you can develop confidence and look great on the dance floor. My name is Brian B. I'm Miss Megan. And this is a total beginner video, so we're going to show you what we're going to do first. Then we're going to break it down, footwork, and then partnering up in a couple of the pitfalls that might happen. So here's what we're going to learn. We're going to learn the basic slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. We're going to learn the turning basic slow, slow, quick quick, quick, slow. The most famous is the promenade. Slow, quick, quick, slow. The coolest would probably be the corte. Quick, quick, slow. And then we'll give you something a little bit harder, the open fan, which is going to be totally doable by the end of this video. All right, let's talk about basic footwork before we partner up. The basic is super simple. It's just walking forward and to the side. So from the leader's perspective, I'm going to walk forward, forward, forward side close and when I close that foot there's going to be no weight we'll talk about that in a second so let's do that again forward 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 side close forward 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 side close and for the followers followers you're doing the exact opposite we're going backwards so we have back 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 side you're going to pull in but don't put weight on it one cool. more time so we have back back back, side, pull in. So we give it rhythms. You're gonna think of it as slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. So create a little rhythm to yourself. Sometimes you hear it slow, slow, tango, close, whatever that rhythm is for you. So we have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. And so there's no weight change on that, it's just pulling in. So that's the forward basic. Now let's do the curving basic before we partner up, just so we have some confidence. So curving basic is the same as the forward. We're just going to curve the steps. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Make sense? Let's do it one more time. So we have forward, 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 side together. So same as the basic, we're just curving around the corner. Cool? All right, now we can partner up. Here's what our frame is going to look like, official ballroom dance frame. This is our ESPN 360 cam. Most important thing to know, I'm going to go this side, is that Megan is always in her... Window. Window. So the window, I always say there's a shoe sale going on over there for the ladies, right? So you're going to be over the leader's right shoulder. I'm going to be over the follower's shoulder. This hand is going to go up halfway on her side, halfway behind her. Fingers kind of close there. And she's going to put her arm... I'm going to put my arm down on the leaders. I am not heavy. I am just touching their arm. This hand is going to go in their uh, back area, thumb down, and then like a karate chop into the arm. So that's where this is going to go. This hand is going to go at eye height. Whose eyes? Her eyes. So if I was shorter, the hand would feel like it's a little bit more above me. If I was taller, I call this towel on the towel bar, so my hand goes out. She closes over the top, we close our hand there. Elbows out, that is our frame. Now, you can dance as a beginner, you can dance either with some space or the way the competitive dancers do is right up against one another. We're gonna dance up against one another, but if you create a little space there, no big deal. The alignment's gonna be the same though. Megan's always over her right, my right shoulder, I'm always looking over her right shoulder. That way, if I come at the camera, I'm walking this foot just outside of hers, and this foot just inside of her. So you can just practice walking in that alignment, right? You can practice walking without arms too, just walking to keep that alignment, right? That's gonna be the most important thing in ballroom dancing. So all this fancy schmancy stuff, all this frame stuff, not super important, although staying offset is important. So if we do our basic, we'll do it a couple different directions for you. We go slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. If we do our curving basic, it's the same thing. We just curve, curve, quick, quick, slow. If we turn around and come back so you can see, my right leg is always between hers, so I'm gonna be feeling her thighs. It's okay, it's dancing. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow. So, play with that. That is your basic and your turning basic. Get used to the alignment. Um, and feeling like you can move with your partner. Now we're gonna get to the promenade. This is pretty fun. What is promenade position? This is promenade position. All we need to do is from our closed position, we've danced the basics, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. From here, we're just gonna slightly turn. So notice I'm not turning too much with my arms. That's what we do in the beginning. Just a slight turn with the arms 
to get Megan to turn. Boom. If you notice in our ESPN 360 cam, Megan is still in her window. So in promenade position, it feels like closed position. We're just looking that direction. So from that position, just do me a favor and walk. Just walk along in that position. So if you notice, Megan is going to be slightly behind my foot the entire time. So we do it the, we'll do it this way. Just walk in that promenade position. I'm slightly ahead. I'm just walking and Megan can stay. It's like the three-legged race <laughs> you did as a kid, right? So the inside leg, I'm slightly ahead and she's slightly behind. So followers, you want to stay slightly behind. Cool. So with that being said, let's do our footwork for the promenade. We're going to go towards the camera. Dun, dun, dun. We're going to go slow, slow. Now there's an and. I'm going to shift and. Then the same finish we did before, forward side together, forward side pull closed. Cool, if we did that again, we'll do it coming at you, we'll do it going away from you. So our promenade, we go slow, slow. There's a shift for an and, quick, quick, slow. Let's do it the other direction. We'll have Megan talk through what goes on for the followers because this might be the trickiest part so far. All right, you're already in your promenade position. Followers, you're gonna go forward, forward. On the and, you are going to swivel on your left foot and not put down your right foot. That way we can go back, side, pull in. Let's do that again. Probably the trickiest part. In fact, definitely, definitely the trickiest part. <laughs> All right, so you have forward, forward, swivel, and then back, side, pull in. So we do that together. We'll show you some things, leaders, that you can do to help and some things that followers can think about. So we get our promenade position. I'm leading ahead for slow, Slow. Now here I'm going to pivot her around that foot and then we can walk together for quick, quick, slow. So we do it in a different angle. We have slow, slow and quick, quick, slow. Now if you're a beginner, you wonder why I'm saying the word and. And is going to happen during the slow, right? So if I'm thinking about this this way, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. But I'm going to say it with an and. Slow, slow, and quick, quick, slow. So that way it's a little sharper, a little bit more tango, a little bit more functional. So if we did this again, our promenade, we have slow, slow, and quick, quick, slow. So one thing I can think about if I come at you on the camera, and <laughs> slow, slow. Leaders, if I turn her right on her spot, hmm. right? I'm holding her on that spot. If I move my hands too far, she's gonna take a step. That's gonna be a common problem mm -hmm. for beginners. Sometimes it's the followers not swiveling, sometimes it's the leaders throwing her. So if I did a basic first, or maybe even a curving basic, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. We set up our promenade with a little and at the end. Slow, slow, and, and I've got Megan solid as we move together. So when you're a beginner, and we have this with a lot of our wedding couples, I want you to first dance together then dance to the music. So the mm -hmm. rules of the game is Megan's going to dance to me at whatever timing I go at, and then together I'm going to hopefully connect myself to the music. So even if I took some extra time, we did slow, slow, and I screwed up and waited. She waits, so that way we can move together. So you want to learn to dance together first, then we'll dance to the music. So let's look at what we have before we do our corte. We have our basic slow, quick, quick, slow. We have our rotating basic, slow, quick, quick, slow, and our promenade, and quick, quick, slow. Next up is going to be the corte, which is super cool, and we got some tricks so you look good and not goofy. So the corte, if we look at this, it's the first time that we take a back step first. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. So this should start to get easy because the end of it is the same. You already know it. So footwork for the leaders, we're going to step back for slow. We're going to replace to the right foot for slow. And the same tango close we did to finish forward side together. So you already know half of it. So we do it one more time. A slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. And leaders, we've seen all sorts of things. I want you to look good and confident. I don't want to lunge back with this foot awkwardly. I just want to step back a little bit leave this foot on the floor and create this shape, almost like a little C shape as I step back, right? Because I want this, we're gonna talk about this with the lead, I want this feeling to my step back. This is also gonna be part of how she knows it happens. So that's what I wanna think about for slow. I step back up on that foot for slow, quick, 
quick song. And Miss Megan, what do the followers have to do so they don't look like they're lunging? Well, first of all, you have to follow. You're gonna go forward. All right, so. What if we can't lead? We'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, followers, you are gonna take a step forward with a bent knee, so you're going to land forward. Now, we are going to keep our hips forward into this and not look awkward. So let's do that again. So we have forward, and we're going to be a little shaped here. Then we're gonna come back, and then we have our tango close. If we do that one more time, this is forward, replace, tango close. Cool, so to lead this, I'm gonna do it from this side so you can kind of see leaders. If I'm going along on my basic, everything is moving that direction, right? So everything's moving that way for my basic. Now from here, I'm gonna collect her a little bit. What does collect mean? Anything that's different in your pressure to the follower signifies something's going on. If you've ever been walking across the street or holding someone's hand and you just squeeze their hand, like you didn't say there's a car coming, they don't know, they just know, wait a minute, pay attention. So anything I do here, I'm cruising along in my basic, I know I'm gonna do the corte. She feels this pressure. You don't see the pressure, she just feels the pressure. I've collected her just a little bit. Now, as I step back, it signals her to step forward. We replace, and then we move together quick, quick, slow. So we do it the other way. We'll do a basic first, because you're gonna to have to develop the skill of going forward and then back. So we have the basic, basic, quick, quick, slow. I collect her, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. So that's a good way to practice is a basic or even a curving basic into the corte, quick, quick, slow. Now Megan said something earlier about the followers. What did you say? They have to? Look at their foot. They have to follow. Oh, follow. <laughs> follow. So what does follow mean? Follow means wait until I go, right? You wanna know your steps, and then you wanna to react to what the leader's telling you, right? I'm the leader, at least on the dance we floor. We hope so. We hope so. So, as we're going along, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. I collect her, she follows me, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, and she doesn't go anywhere else until I start to create some sort of lead. Cool beans? All right, so those four moves should allow you to get around the dance floor, but I want you to look really cool, right? Develop confidence, look really cool. Hopefully you're confident now. Let's look really cool. So this is the open fan. This is totally doable because you've got the skills necessary because we're already in the promenade for slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow. So yes, a little bit more complicated, but you already know half of it. Why do you already know half of it? Because we know our promenade, right? We know how to do slow, slow. But from here, instead of turning her and finishing our basic, right, we're gonna send her out for what we call an open fan. This is, looks really cool. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. And that part is the easiest, because I just have to send her out, shove her, that's a terrible word, but you get the idea. So what are we doing? Slow, slow. I have to drop this hand down, quick, quick, slow. So let's talk leader's footwork from this side. So leaders. We're in our promenade position. Slow, slow. On my quick, quick, I'm gonna rock that direction. A little pressure in this foot. Quick, quick, and then I wanna look cool, I'm gonna go and slow. So if I do that again, we have slow, slow, quick, quick, and slow. That's gonna look cool. Followers part, let me get out of the way so Megan can narrate. Followers, I'm gonna go from this side so you can see this somewhat from behind. We have slow, slow. We're gonna turn around for quick, side for quick and slow. So let's do that again. We have slow, slow turning, quick side, quick and slow. So if that's confusing, it's not gonna be because there's only one way you can go. So leaders, we call this baby steps. So we're not gonna do any footwork, we're just gonna practice the hands. Leaders, I'm gonna take this hand down and let it change to this grip. So from my closed grip, I'm gonna put this in what's called like a swing grip. Then I'm going to send her out. So just practice that, right? Just how I'm gonna send her out. I've got my closed grip, we're in my promenade. I switch this hand and I send her out, right? I'm connected to her here, but this is the hand that's gonna send her. You can think of this in ballroom dancing. There's two connection points, this one or this one. I can ask Megan to walk towards the door of the studio or I can tell her. So the hand closest to the body is always the one that's gonna be the best to lead with. So the left hand I get ready, getting ready, switching, slow, slow, quick, 
quick, slow, sending her out. This arm line is optional as a beginner. So from here, we're going to step forward, forward, swivel, forward, swivel, which you already know, and then our tango close. So what's going on there? We'll do this from behind. We're going to step forward. How is she going to step forward? Because I'm going to take this hand forward, forward. Remember that swivel action? We're going to swivel on that foot, just touching this foot for balance. Then we're going to step forward again, swivel on the foot. We already know this from the promenade before we finish our tango closed. Let's do it one more time this way. From this position, we step forward. My hand, her hand, and our foot. We swivel on the spot. We step forward, swivel on the spot, catching her, and then we finish in tango closed. So if we look at the whole pattern going this way, we have slow, slow, quick, quick, and slow. Slow and slow and quick, quick, slow. So things you're gonna to need to think about, we kinda of covered them earlier, the swiveling action for the followers, right? The ability to slow, slow, and pivot on that foot without losing your balance. And one of the tips I like to tell uh, my ladies, slow, slow, as you pivot on that foot, this foot can touch the ground for balance mm -hmm. as you're doing all these swiveling actions. It can touch, you just don't want weight on it. Right? Cool. Let's look at everything we have from the top. We have our basic slow, quick, quick, slow. You have your curving basic, quick, quick, slow, promenade, slow, quick, quick, slow. Our corte, slow, quick, quick, slow. Our fan, slow, quick, quick, and slow, slow, and slow, and quick, quick, slow. feel a little bit more confident because I know you're going to look great doing those steps. If you want to learn our favorite seven patterns and dances like waltz and foxtrot and cha-cha and east coast, you can do that right here. And if you want the best way to really level up your dancing so you can develop confidence, you can check out our full access membership over on our website. It's free for 14 days. It's the coolest thing we've ever done to help you become an amazing, confident dancer. We'll see you on the dance floor.